Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let's begin the class brief citing Umul Kitab Al-Fatihah Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Rahmanirrahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in Itina siratan mustaqim Siratan ladhina na'amta alayhim Wa rimadubi alayhim Wa rattawannin Amin Okay, uh, so uh, I'll continue our class with um, Tutorial session Okay, I have um, given you, uh, upload the file on Muhibbah Cake House. So, I will discuss on this uh, example. In fact, I will discuss the example until the end of the uh, uh, financial statement. Uh, means that I will close the, uh, I will start with the effect, the debit, credit and book of prime entry. Later on, I will do the ledger entry, close of the account, prepare trial balance until preparation of statement of profit or loss and statement of financial position. But for today, for this session, I will uh, discuss on the effect um, and the debit, debit and credit and also the book of prime entries. Okay, uh, Muhibah Cake House owned by Puan Laila a business that involved in making biscuits, breads and cakes. Uh, Puan Ala hired Nani as shop assistant. Okay. Below are the transactions related to the business in June 2019. Okay. Given that the transaction from 1st June until 30th June and you are required to identify the effect, increase or decrease on, on assets, liabilities, or equities, revenues or expenses. And also, you have to show the accounts to be debited or credited um, of all the transactions above. And you have to identify the appropriate book of prime entry. Okay. Okay. So, for the first transaction, on 1st June, uh, started the business. Okay. Started the business. When you said started the business, the related account will be capital. Okay, capital. Capital will increase. What type of capital? Capital normally in form of assets, either non-current asset or cash. Okay, so in this case, the uh, Puan Laila uh, started a business with office furniture and cash. Both are asset. Okay, so asset increase and asset increase okay so the first transaction increase in capital and asset capital increase will be credit credit capital asset increase we will debit asset okay the asset is office furniture and cash so debit office furniture debit cash credit capital okay the next transaction on 4th of june purchase goods purchase goods is purchase of stock or inventory normally we record it in the purchases okay this one is under purchases purchases is expenses expenses and it uh, Puan Laila purchased goods on credit on credit from Sweet Copy Enterprise okay from Sweet Copy Enterprise so this one is accounts payable accounts payable okay expenses increase account payable increase means that uh, liability increase okay dia beli secara hutang eh so, expenses increase, liability increase. Expenses increase, debit expenses. In this case, we did debit purchases. Debit purchases. Liability increase, liability is accounts payable. Accounts payable is personal account. Normally, we will record it under the name of the, uh, uh, of the accounts payable itself or creditors. In this case, um, Puan Laila, Purchase goods from 
sweet copy. So debit purchases credit sweet copy enterprise. Okay, on the 7th of June, Puan Lala transferred 6,000 ringgit cash into the business bank account. Means that both are asset, increase in asset and decrease in asset. Okay, increase in asset and decrease in asset. So, increase in bank, debit bank, credit cash. Debit bank, credit cash. Okay, next. On the 10th of June, Puan Laila brought in motor vehicle worth 7,000 ringgit. Brought in. Brought in is, again, dia sama macam started the business tadi lah. They brought in the capital. In this case, they brought in the capital in form of motor vehicle. So, capital will increase. Asset will increase. Okay. Asset increase, debit asset. In this case, debit motor vehicle. Increase in capital, credit, credit capital. Okay. Capital increase, asset increase, debit motor vehicle, credit, credit capital. Okay, next. On the 15th of June, Soul cakes, okay. Soul cakes, this one is sales. Sales increase. Sales is revenue. Okay, revenue increase. We will credit. Okay, soul cakes on credit. To Chloe cupcake. Soul cakes on credit to Chloe cupcake. Sales increase. Asset increase. Why asset? Because Chloe Cupcake is account receivable. Chloe Cupcake berhutang dengan kita. So, uh, dia belum bayar lagi lah. Means that it is part of the current asset. Okay. So, revenue increase. Asset increase. Revenue tadi sales lah. Okay. Revenue increase. Credit sales. Asset increase. Debit. Chloe. Chloe Cupcake. Okay, on the 16th of June, Chloe Cupcake return cakes worth 310 ringgit. Tadi dia beli, sekarang dia pulangkan balik. Why Chloe return cupcakes? Because uh, maybe the cupcakes did not meet its expectation. Okay, the good is not according to their uh, specification. Banyaklah sebab ya, return, return ni sebab barang rosak. Barang tak ikut spesifikasi Okay So in this case uh, Chloe return the goods Okay So it is reverse of a Previous transaction Bila jual barang Okay Sold cakes Sales increase Or revenue eh? Sorry Yang ni revenue tadi eh? Revenue increase Revenue increase Asset increase Now Revenue decrease Asset will decrease to Bali. Eh? So, revenue decrease, asset decrease. Uh, debit revenue, debit revenue, tadi sales kan. Uh, untuk um, revenue decrease, kita tak debit sales, kita akan debit return inwards. Okay, sebab dalam statement of profit or loss, kita akan buat sales minus return inward to find out the Net sales. So, kita akan record return inward. Okay. So, debit return inward. Credit. Chloe. Cupcake. Okay. Uh, for the next one, on the 17th of June. This one, business return goods to sweet copy. Kita beli barang daripada sweet copy. Kita beli barang daripada sweet copy uh, on 4th of June tadi ya. Eh. Sekarang kita pulangkan barang. Kenapa? Sama juga ya. Eh. Because not according to specification. Ataupun mungkin barang rosak. In, the, in this case, due to wrong order. Order benda lain sampai benda lain. Eh. So, kita pulangkan balik. Okay. So, goods return to sweet copy tadi. Uh, increase in expenses. Increase in accounts payable. Now, 
decrease in expenses and decrease in account payable okay decrease in uh, in expenses and decrease in account payable decrease in liability okay liability liability the account payable this sorry book account payable uh yang ni salah tadi okey uh, decrease in expenses decrease in liability sorry ya eh? liability yang ni pun liability tadi ya <coughs> Okay, <coughs> decrease in expenses. Kita tak record uh, credit purchases. Kita record sama juga macam sales tadi. Eh? Kita record return outward. Sebab dalam uh, statement of profit or loss, uh, net purchases kita dapat daripada purchases less return outward. So, kita kena record return outward. We want to know how much uh, return outward during the period. Okay. So, liability will decrease. Hutang berkurang sebab kita pulang balik barang. Okay. Kalau asalnya kita hutang dengan sweet copy RM3,500. Kita pulang RM500. Maksudnya hutang kita tinggal RM3,500. Tolak RM500 tinggal RM3,000. So, the the liability reduce. Okay. So, liability reduce. Liability reduce debit sweet copy. Okay. On 20th of June Cash sales to Rina Okay, this one is a bit tricky eh? The cash sales, tapi dia bagi nama Rina eh? Sebenarnya, bila dia kata cash sales The effect is on increase in asset Cash naik eh? sebab kita dapat cash Revenue as well increase Increase in Revenue Rina Rina tak perlu record Sebab apa? Sebab kita dah dapat Cash Duit dah dapat Okay So debit uh, Increase in asset Increase in revenue Debit Cash Credit Credit sales Debit cash Credit Credit sales Okay On the 23rd of June ah, Yang ni yang silap Masa mula-mula saya push tadi eh, Saya tersilap ah. Drawing ni dia Lain sikit eh. One Laila took goods Worth RM200 Okay Took goods Worth RM200 And cash RM310 Macam mana tu? Maksudnya Puan Laila Ambil barang Ambil barang Ataupun ambil Daripada stock Dan juga tunai Okay Apa yang berlaku? Ialah drawings lah yang ni Dia akan mengurangkan nilai capital Okay Capital will decrease Capital akan berkurang Pada masa yang sama Dia ambil apa? Goods Dia ambil goods kita During the period During accounting period Any movement of goods Kita akan record dalam purchases So Decrease in Expenses And decrease in Asset Sebab dia ambil Cash Dia ambil cash So Decrease in capital Drawing tadi ya Decrease in expenses Sebab dia ambil purchases Dia ambil stock ya And decrease in asset Sebab dia ambil cash <coughs> Decrease in capital Debit Debit capital Tapi kita tak debit capital Sebab apa? Sebab kita kena record dalam drawing So debit drawings Drawings ni akan reduce amount of capital Credit expenses Credit purchases And credit cash Okay, next one. On 25th of June, on 25th of June, paid RM600 by check to Nani for her monthly salary. Maksudnya Nani ni pekerja, pekerja kita lah. Tadi kan dia katakan Puan Laila hired Nani as shop assistant. So, dia bayar gaji Nani. Dia bayar gaji Nani. So, apa yang uh, transaction terlibat? Dia bayar guna check. Bila dia bayar guna check Maksudnya Bank will decrease Asset will decrease Okay Asset will decrease Dia bayar untuk apa? Untuk salary Salary Nani punya salary Salary is 
expenses expenses will increase okay asset will decrease expenses will increase so expenses increase asset decrease expenses dia apa salary lah debit salary dia bayar guna oh ni salah ni dia bayar guna check tadi so this one is bank bukan cash ya tolong betulkan dalam slide tadi ya so credit bank credit bank sebab dia bayar guna check betul kan dia bayar guna check ya paid 600 ringgit by check okey so debit salary credit bank okey on the 30th of june paid sweet copy 3000 ringgit bayar bayar dekat sweet copy ya sweet copy ni siapa kita punya Uh, accounts payable lah Ni tadi kan Kita beli pada 4 Jun kan Sekarang kita bayar semua Fully settlement Using check Okay Bila bayar guna check Asset will decrease Bank will decrease ya Asset will decrease Liability will decrease as well Kenapa kita bayar hutang kan Okay So asset decrease Liability decrease Asset decrease Liability decrease Debit sweet copy sebab kita bayar eh. Credit bank. Sebab duit berkurang eh. Bank will decrease. Okay. As at 30th of June. The last one eh. Purchase goods from Pelangi Bakery by cash. Purchase goods. Purchase goods maksudnya beli stock eh. Beli stock expenses lah. Expenses will increase. Dia beli guna cash. Okay, again, dia ada bagi nama pelangi bakery kan. Kalau dia beli secara kredit, kita akan record pelangi bakery. Tapi dia beli secara tunai. Eh? Dia beli secara cash. So, asset will decrease. The effect will be expenses increase, asset decrease, debit purchases. Credit cash. Credit cash. Okay. Okay. Uh, for book of prime entry. Okay. Look at book of prime entry. Eh. Kita tengok daripada yang awal. Eh. Uh, I mean. On 1st of June. Transaction is capital and asset. Okay. Capital and asset. Dia ada dua sebenarnya. Uh, dia ada started business with office furniture and started business with cash. Okay. Bila started business with office furniture, yang ni dia masuk dalam general ledger. Sebab dia uh, capital. Uh, started capital other than cash. Okay. Satu lagi ialah started business with cash. Okay. Started business with uh, asset other than cash yang tu masuk dalam general journal. Started business with cash, dia akan masuk dalam cash receipt journal. Okay, apa-apa transaction berkaitan dengan cash, dia akan masuk dalam sama ada cash receipt journal ataupun cash payment journal. Okay. The second one, purchase goods on credit. Okay, bila purchases on credit, kita akan record dalam purchases journal. Any credit this one for credit purchases okay credit purchases okay on 7 of june dia transfer transfer cash into bank maksudnya dia ada dua cash receipt and cash payment kenapa uh, untuk bila cash keluar cash out yang tu dia akan record dalam cash payment journal tapi dia masuk balik dalam bank. So dia akan masuk dalam cash receipt journal. So dia efek ke dalam dua-dua lah. Cash receipt journal and cash payment journal. Okay. Untuk dua-dua uh, journal eh. Okay. And 10 of June. Again this one is additional capital eh. Additional capital by the owner. Owner bawa masuk uh, motor vehicle. Okay. Untuk guna dalam. Uh, business. So yang ni samalah macam the first one tadi ya. Eh. Sebab dia mau bawa masuk uh, non current asset other than cash. So dia akan record dalam general journal. Kalau owner tambah cash. 
ataupun invest more cash into the business yang tu akan masuk dalam cash receipt journal but this one dia sebab dia masuk bawa masuk motor vehicle so kita record dalam general journal ok on the 15th of June on the 15th of June Soul Kicks on Credit Soul Kicks on Credit bila Soul Kicks on Credit kita akan record dalam sales journal because this one is credit credit sales kalau cash sales kalau cash sales kita akan record dalam cash receipt journal apa-apa yang berkaitan dengan cash kita akan record dalam cash receipt journal atau cash payment journal kalau cash purchases kita akan record dalam cash payment journal ok on 16 of June yang ni return ya, yeah, 16 of June Kak Chloe Cupcake return cakes Chloe Cupcake return cakes maksudnya uh, customer pulang balik barang eh. so yang ni kita akan record dalam return in word journal senang je ni eh. tak susah sangat ok and then uh, the next one will be uh, return to sweet copy ok maksudnya muhibah cat house return goods to uh, supplier ataupun to accounts payable ok yang ni kita akan record dalam return outward journal ok untuk yang selebihnya uh, yang selebihnya untuk 20th of June dia berkaitan dengan cash kan dia berkaitan dengan cash on the 20th of June uh, cash sales to Rina cash sales to Rina kita dapat duit kita akan record dalam cash receipt journal sebab dapat cash ya on 23rd of June yang ni drawing tadi drawing ada dua ya drawing tadi 23rd of June dia ambil goods yang ambil goods ni kita akan record dalam general journal yang mana dia ambil cash yang ni kita akan record dalam cash payment journal dia ada dua ok so the, the journal or book of primary entry will be general journal for uh, drawing of goods for drawing of cash recorded in the cash payment journal ok yang lain tu yang lain tu semua cash payment journal untuk salary ya. salary paid by bank bukan cash ya tolong betulkan ya salary paid by bank cash payment journal uh, paid to supplier full settlement by bank so cash payment journal and the last one uh, cash purchases kita record dalam cash payment journal ok so uh, untuk hari ni untuk this session I will end till this part Uh, InsyaAllah kita akan sambung lagi untuk uh, next tutorial. Kalau sempat nanti ya. Okay, with that we end the class. Bari sati al-insyirah entah sebiki farah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, thank you.